inside the making of March 28, 1979. America's National worst- Institute of Health has joined a worldwide effort with more than 40 countries to recognize and seek better ways to diagnose and treat patients. America's work. Commercial nuclear accident takes place at the Three Mile Island plant in Middletown, Pennsylvania. Around the world, we're celebrating. National Institute of Health has joined a worldwide effort with more than 40 countries to recognize and seek. Today in history, January 20th. For us in the United States, it's been a slow route from the beginning already that all men have been able to stay as a dictator for more than three and a half decades. Around the world, they are celebrating the concept of dignity today. Better ways to diagnose the dignity. It's exciting to be home inside for now. Because it is mindful of the past and busy beginning. Power industry. 1969. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. Hosting a day-long program and activities highlighting the rare disease research Whoever finished the capital is in no way fair. You are about to embark upon the great crusade. The ultimate expression of the achievements and aspirations uh, that set our country apart. which we have striven these many months. In Washington. But at the time, Though the health effects are considered small, the accident strengthens opposition to the nation's nuclear power industry. President Lincoln understood this. During the Civil War, he insisted that capital construction go forward. The National Institute of Health and their effort to bring down their diseases. I also want to acknowledge the thousands of Americans who are afflicted with diseases whose symptoms are so complex that they simply remain undiagnosed. Former President Dwight D. Eisenhower, who led the D-Day invasion of World War II, dies at age 78. The majority of these disorders have genetic causes and are half affect children. How we celebrate it and how we expand the concept of made in terms of or if we really see ourselves and each other and respect ourselves in each other. And contemporaries of the slaves of King of the whole sacrifice. The cause to honor those who are working hard to research, diagnose, treat, and empower patients with the rarest of rare diseases. I want to acknowledge the work of the NIH. I'm grateful that they're organizing an event like Rare Disease Day. Color is how Frederick Douglass put it in the masthead of his anti slavery newspaper, The North Star. And women and children 
are deserving of the respect that each and any of us expect.